Okay, so this is a case of a 70-year-old female came into the lab uh, with a history of CVA. This is actually the first carotid ultrasound she's ever had. So the sonographer you can see begins with a transverse view a split screen with both uh, 2D and then color Doppler of the common carotid. And we'll move through this case um, and just point out the the really good teaching points here. So there's a bifurcation, ICA and ECA, and if you notice immediately you should detect that the color is filling in what they've labeled the ECA, but not so much the ICA. However, we don't see a color scale bar here, so it's a little difficult to tell what the uh, what the range is where our scale is set at. So here in the longitudinal we have the color scale set at 28 and they just take a longitudinal view of the CCA and you'll notice a uh, hypoechoic sort of plaque, focal plaque here with just a dense, well not, I shouldn't say dense, a focal area of uh, starting a calcification but it doesn't appear that it is causing any significant velocity flow changes you can see the color is nice and smooth here it's set at a good uh, scale and there's no aliasing on either side of that plaque I'm moving distally and now they come to the ICA and you can see the color just stops so now you should be thinking, uh-oh, this is likely a uh, total occlusion, possibly, um, but we're going to investigate further. It's an image of the ECA, the longitudinal, and the spectral Doppler. So they decide to look more closely at the ICA, as you should. And again, we're taking a color image here. Scale is still set kind of high. If you suspect an occlusion, we really should lower this scale um, just to see if we can get any slow flow. And we're hoping they do that, but they have not. However, that's okay if you don't lower it. If you're if you're going to take other, if you're going to use other means of really proving that this is an occlusion, you can see. You must put a spectral Doppler gate in here just to check. And they've labeled that there is no flow, proximally, mid, and as far distal as they could get. And that's important because using just relying on color is not going to prove to the doctor or anyone else that this is really an occlusion. There could be slow flow. You may want to employ the power Doppler, but definitely putting in the spectral gate there to prove that there's no uh, flow within that vessel. That's important. And I move on. And you can see the actual hemodynamics of the CCA haven't changed all that much. This is a uh, what appears to be a fairly new occlusion. vertebral flow, we could have turned up the gate here, um, I'm sorry, not the gate, the spectral gain here, just to see that better. Another image of the ICA. And they've moved on to the left side. We did everything we needed to do, again, showing that there's no color, and you can see this is hypoechoic, there's hardly any echoes seen within the ICA and at first glance you'd think that was a patent vessel but you can see the color just stop right here and we've proven um, if we go back no spectral flow and they uh, did a good thing by moving the gate uh, segmentally through the vein um, through the artery sorry and proving that there's no flow through that vessel. Now let's move on to the left side. 
And this is just catching. I wouldn't be confused by this. This is probably just catching it between cycles there, showing the uh, two different colors within the ICA. There's your ECA. And you'll notice here the ICA, look at the flow. There's a lot of diastolic flow, which is norm um, increased from what we would normally see. The peak systolic flow is only 105, and that's fine. But the end diastolic flow is almost 50 centimeters a second. So there's you know some compensatory flow going on because of the occlusion on the contralateral side. Now you can see that we've moved a little further distally in the ICA and increased diastolic flow and an increased peak systolic flow. And if you look here with the color, there doesn't appear to be any color deficits within the vessel, so we can assume this is just simply a compensatory flow because of the total occlusion on the contralateral side. There is some aliasing further distal and velocities again greater than 125, so an elevated uh, end diastolic. That's all putting the picture together that there's really no, likely no uh, stenosis here, it's just compensatory flow. And CCA and the vertebrals. And let's look at the color scale here. They have it up at 55. That's for CCA, ICA, distal, mid, and proximal. And look at how much that's filling that vessel still at a scale of 55. So all of those things are putting the, the whole picture together and um, letting you know that this is not uh, just because of the increased velocity here, that this is not due to a stenosis, it's due to the um, total occlusion of the right ICA. So those are just things you want to pay attention to that would be something you would add to your report. And through otherwise this is the left side's uh, pretty normal as far as the visualization of the vessels, the color flow. Spectral Doppler is increased, but again, can't say it enough, that's just compensatory flow due to the contralateral occlusion.